for our sativa strain, we picked Hindu Kush. You could. Anybody? Wow. Now we both kind of a little like. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the chocolate just comes through way more. Cool. I'm waiting for Casey to try out the chocolate chunk. Something a little different on this one. Okay. So the the richness and the kind of bitterness of the coca, mm -hmm. the chocolate in there, can definitely get that a lot more than the last one. Kind of mm -hmm. nutty and sweet, and maybe a little sour. Bumps up the cookie oh. part and not like not the peanut you butter itself. Like? It's yeah. more of like I, I'm I'm tasting fine. the other compounds in the cookie besides the peanut butter. It's a lot almost of like exactly, I'm tasting the technically is that's the, the Train wreck takes chocolate out but adds peanut butter to the tagalongs. Let's see what train wreck tastes like. It almost makes the peanut butter spicy. Yep, tastes like cannabis. OG Kush with the, really uh, like the tagalongs. Overall creaminess. Creaminess. And, and or richness. And or richness. This, this is, is the Black Betty. Betty. Black Betty. Okay, so Black Betty mellowed the menthol of thin mint. Weed having the spicy element to it. Mm -hmm. Gets your mouth ready to have the minty, fresh Very elbowed good. with a thin mint. That's oh, oh. Alright, man. Oh, God, that's yeah. good. Rich, buttery cookies with sweet, crunchy. It doesn't enhance. No, the, the, there's nothing to enhance. Really no flavor. <laughs> I mean, that's a fucking dog treat. Because they're like the bad version of those butter cookies, you know, on that tin you used to have. Yeah, these are a really bad version of that. The shortbread. If you open up the cabinet for a treat, that was it. I would not eat that. Like mixing this with like milk or something. Mm. Buy a glass of milk, you know what I mean? Or made the toffee not as... Everything's worse. 